Thank you for joining me. You're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. Here I show you my first journal and I'm going to be working on my second Bible journal today. And I've already gone and used some gesso to prepare my Let page. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. I'm using some points from a sermon from the beginning of the year, based on Hebrews chapter 10, verse 11 to 25, and the particular verses we're looking at are verse 23 to 25. I settled on a design and then I used my paper to trace that through underneath the Bible using a journaling pen. So this is sped up, um, so I do take a bit longer actually writing it in reality on the page. The sermon is based on those verses, like I said, and it's the title is Stirring Up One Another in Love. So although this is a, an IV version of the Bible, the um, points here are from the ESV version. So we've got hold fast, stir up and don't neglect. I had to put this on two separate lines in order to make sure it fit in. I'm using the T from the first part of the lettering so that it matches on all the words. I go ahead and just bullet point those different uh, words just to separate them. I'm going in with a Stampin' Up! set called Waterfront and I thought this was a great set to um, use this to kind of convey holding fast and strong mountains. I'm using so Saffron to create that sun and using grey granite to create the clouds that are going to go over the sun. Just going to grab a scrap piece of paper to make sure that doesn't overlap onto the wording. I went ahead and experimented with a few different greens to create these mountains and I thought actually the paler colours suited what I wanted to use. So I'm going in with pear pizzazz for the mountains and then I use a slightly, slightly darker shade of green for the trees. I go back in and just try and highlight the tops of the mountains, but then I end up smudging, but that can be covered up a bit later. I'm using the Stampin' Up! Old Olive to stamp the trees. I was going to leave a gap in the middle of both trees so you can see through, but I decided it looked a bit odd and I just ended up filling up the gap instead. Going back in with that same colour, that grey granite that I used for the clouds, I decided to use that to ground the trees and to give them a bit of earth. I go in a few times to try and get that colour to transfer onto the paper, I didn't want it too dark. I think having gesso on it makes it um, a bit slightly less absor absorbent. I use a balmy blue and get a sponge just to dab on some sky onto the page and just leaving a few white gaps 
so it looks like clouds. Next I use my favourite stamp out of the set and it's this little speckles. It might not pick up very well on the video but you might be able to see it on the photograph. I go back in and just highlight the first letters in the font and just write a note up the side about the sermon title, who it was by and when I heard the sermon, just thought I have some record in my Bible. I also go back over the letter T's because I think they look a little bit like a cross and I wanted to highlight those as they appear quite a few times in the words. I already gessoed the verses and I go over it with Old Olive, the Stampin' Up Watercolour pencil and then just using an aqua brush to um, highlight those verses. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed my second Bible journal entry. Do subscribe to my channel for further videos and give me a thumbs up if you like this and comment below.